Hi plant friends, today we're repotting a few of the cactus and succulents that I picked up over the last couple of months. We've got a couple of agaves, aloe, echeveria, look at this echeveria raindrop. We also have this cactus and this euphorbia horida. All are going to be arranged in this pot. There's no drainage holes, so I've got to be careful when I'm watering. But it's a perfect low maintenance solution to put all these plants in one location and save on space. Let's get into the repotting. I've chosen to go with regular potting soil. This potting soil has perlite, there's some chunky bits of slow release fertilizer, as well as some bark. Now let's get these little babies out of their pots. Look at the root system on this. It's pretty good. And we've got the aloe. This one's throwing off a lot of little pups. Wonderful roots as well. I like the cluster of aloes, so I'm not gonna separate this at all. Here's the Echeveria Procursorum. I'm loving the thick succulent leaves on this. And a nice healthy root system here as well. Here's this little cactus. I'm loving the spines on this. And it's soft to the touch, so I can easily squeeze the plant to take out this beauty. Nice root system as well. And let's take a look at the Echeveria raindrop. Now I did soak these beauties yesterday. He had a nice drink of water, and I won't water these for the next month or so. Well, let's clean this baby up a little bit. We can remove all the dead leaves that are at the bottom. At the same time, while I'm removing the leaves, I'm scanning to make sure there's no pests lingering around these bottom leaves. And so far, I don't see any pests. Sometimes these etcheveras can be a magnet for mealybugs. Now let's do the same for this little agave. I think that's good enough. I've just taken off whatever little bits that I can. Oh, it looks very good. Nice fruit system. And I love that the pups are well established. I definitely won't set these up. I like potting up my plants in a nice clump. In the center of this arrangement, I'm putting the largest plant, and that is the Echeveria raindrop. I think that's enough space to get the root ball tucked 
in the center nice and firmly okay just enough space to get this baby tucked in nice and firmly okay now i can make some room to tuck the agave in at the side With the agave at the side, it will give it some space to grow in nicely. A beautiful display there. Potentially this agave could get bigger, but I'm thinking since it's a smaller pot, hopefully the plant will stay nice and compact. Now on the opposite side, let's tuck the other agave in. And again, I'm placing this on an angle left to be potted in so we can do two plants on each side. First, let's get this little Echeveria tucked into her spot. And again, I'm potting it on an angle so that it will make for a nice display no matter how I turn this pot to be displayed on my kitchen island. Now over here, I think we can tuck this little beauty in. I wonder what the name is of this little cactus. In just enough space for me to get my finger in and tuck this little beauty in. Now this one I'm thinking I do want it to be standing straight up. So let's angle that to be more upright. And over here we'll get the Horda tucked in as well and this one will be more straight up rather than it being on an angle. Now one of the things that you'll notice is that when I've put the soil in this container, I mounted the soil. And that gives me enough soil in the pot so once they're potted up, I can firmly work the soil back around the plants. This way I don't have to add any additional soil to the container. I'm trying to keep the leaves as clean as possible while doing this potting process. In this area, I've ended up with a little bit more space than what I would like, but I'm gonna still go ahead and pot this beauty in, and I'm gonna, um, Let's see if the puffs can be stretched out a little bit. If not, I'll find another cactus or succulent in my collection to fill this little area. Let's find another plant. Okay, so in my IKEA cabinet at the bottom, I've got a few cactus and succulents in here. Let's see who would be a perfect fit. Oh, here we go. This Haworthia would be a perfect fit. I also purchased this one on one of my plant shopping trips and haven't had an opportunity to pot it up. Look at that. She was also purchased at Mississauga Greenhouse for a little bit over $5. Okay, now let's go ahead and tuck this little aloe in the arrangement. up the soil to get it nice and firmly in place. Okay. 
the plant is staying put and I think that's enough fiddling around with it. Now let's have a look at the roots on this Aworthia. Oh, that looks pretty good. Now these do tend to throw off some pups. I don't see any pups just yet. The leaves are nice and thick and plump. It definitely doesn't need any water for now. This will definitely thrive in this container with being watered very sparingly, probably once a month. Now the root system on this Aworthia is a little bit big, so I'm gonna try to dig my fingers nice and deep so we can get her firmly in place. And I think we should tease a little bit of the soil off the root ball. Now let's get her tucked in there. That looks pretty good. Now that everyone's in their place, I can firmly pack the soil around the roots. Well, friends, the arrangement looks wonderful. I do see a few spots where there's exposed dirt. So what I'm gonna do is add a, a bit of river rock as top dressing to cover the soil. Nicely potted up. A few bits of dirt on the leaf, so I'm just gonna blow on it. Okay, that's good. Every angle, I can take a nice picture to post on Instagram.
Now one of the things I've got to keep in mind with this arrangement is that the edge of area raindrop will tend to lean towards the sun or grow towards the sun. So periodically I'll come around and turn the pot to keep the plant upright. For the next couple of weeks, I'll have this arrangement to live on my kitchen island where I can enjoy this display until summer when I move it outside. Thanks for watching plant friends. Remember to like, subscribe and comment and follow me on Instagram at Life of Belina.